So your mind is already pure, your mind is already clear, so you can really tap into that right now by stop thinking for a moment and you see that there is something about you that is just open, clear and available that doesn't bother about which thoughts and emotions you have right now are not even interested in thinking about who am I, what is enlightenment is an ability to just be completely open and present to the moment just as it is and that ability to rest deeply there and that ability to just be open and available to this present moment just as it is unfolding is what you have been looking for your whole life that's it the search is over and now we're just getting used to that ability and that experience that all is well as it is that it's all fine to let everything be as it is all your thoughts, emotions, all your ideas, all your memories maybe you have a very dirty thought coming now or maybe you have a very afflictive thought right now maybe you have a crazy thought right now it doesn't matter because if you decide to let that thought just be as it is you see that the thought in of as and through itself have the power to release itself just like mist evaporating in the air nothing else is needed to be done with it so now we really test this that it is possible to leave ourselves as we are because then we have the opportunity to leave everyone and everything as it is as well and then we have sold world peace <laughs> so simple it, that's it it's so simple but we need training we, just, we, we so need training if we sit here and think we don't need training then take a look around you take, take a look at the relationship you have with all those negative afflictive thoughts and emotions It's a very important question to ask yourself, you know, and to give yourself that permission that, oh wow, I can see that my mind is so trained in manipulating and controlling those emotions, all these things that in this training we just call it data because it doesn't matter what the content of your mind is. We used a lifetime in focusing on that and describing that, so, so that's not even interesting, it's secondary. Now we go to the primary focus, and that is what is the source of everything. That source, that ability that you have direct access to when you stop thinking is always present. And in this training we just call it opening intelligence. Just because it is an opening intelligence. It isn't an intelligence that you need to find in special places. You need to get from special people. It's an intelligence that you house and we everyone, we everyone house it. It's the intelligence of the universe and we are an expression of that, not separated from that. We are a pure expression of the universe, unfolding in this moment, in of, as, and through you as a datum, as an expression. That's it. And, and in this training, to really train this ability, to really remember it, to rely on it, we give you one simple instruction. I never come across anything that just gave me one thing to do. <laughs> I always had so many things to do. And here it was one thing to do. And that is for short moments of open intelligence, repeated many, many times until it becomes continuous. So that means for short moments, you check with yourself that all is well already, that you are safe within your experience, that you no longer need to manipulate your experience or manipulate people, you don't need to manipulate yourself, everything is well already. 
So there isn't any time that needs to be filled with many activities. There isn't anything we need to do, 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 but we can see in a short moment how would we really like to show up in this moment. To, so to ask that question, what is the most benefit in this moment? It's an open-ended question. It's a question that always give you, gives you immediate access to how you would like to show up beneficially to the benefit of all in each time, place and circumstance. When you are free of the self-centered habit of I need to do this because this is how I think life should be lived. I need to live like this because I learned from friends, society, parents that a life needs to be filled with all of this, that and the other. This, that and the other is just data. But we can only find that out for ourselves when we really take those short moments. When we, we, when we decide in the midst of our experience to let ourself be as we are. And, and it takes some time to get used to that. That's just how it is for everyone. That's why training is essential. That's why we say in this training that we provide a complete systematic education to train up to see that you are already home. There's no more to search for. You just need to train to see that for yourself. We need to stop hating ourselves and others. <laughs> because in a short moment, hate is, it has nowhere to go. <coughs> Other than an explosion of pure benefit, like how can I use this hate to serve the other person? That might sound radical. But I've tried that so many times, just to see that I'm more than my hate. I'm more than my anger. I'm more than my affliction. How would you ever know if you never tested, if you went on the old way of reacting on all of this? Instead of giving yourself that moment of peace, where you check in with yourself in a short moment. Am I okay even if I feel so angry and I hate this person? Is that fine to just be with that and test short moments of living it as it is? It is so simple, but it is so simple. You don't need to confuse that simplicity anymore and go out and just test it for ourselves. That's why in this training we say, don't believe in anything we say. Your belief, belief uh, system around, you know, I have to believe what she's saying right now, is not needed. <laughs> It's just not needed. <clears throat> so you don't need to follow that at all. But if you will remember one thing from this meeting, it's just when you go out from here already right now, just to test these short moments with your own experience. You just test it with your own experience. So I, I have tested this and it works. <laughs> I've tested it in all kinds of situations in my life, it, with all kinds of emotions, with all kinds of thoughts. I've tested it with my allergies. I also have allergies, and that's a very good example. I, I have cat allergy, and I had it my whole life. And I thought, okay, good. <laughs> Let's see. So, so I, I was in a situation where there were me and some cats. <laughs> And I, <laughs> and I thought, okay, because <laughs> I always loved the cats, you know, even if, if we didn't have, you know, it didn't work so well <laughs> together. <laughs> I thought, I'm going to test short moments just as a test for my own, you know, uh, assurance. Because I take medication, I'm not going to, you know, I, I'm allergic to cats, so I take medications, but I, I'm just going to test it. And I had the most amazing experience because I was so, you know, all the senses, like itching, is all these things, I was full of it. If, if you have any allergies, you know exactly what I, it's so intense. The physical <laughs> sensation is so intense. And I thought, okay, but I'm still just going to see if I can just relax with it. Because I saw that my habit to itch my eyes and nose and, you know, all of that was my reaction to all these physical sensations. So I'm just going to see, am I more than this? It was amazing. 
because I had all the sensations of allergy, but my eyes didn't swell, I, nothing happened, because I left it as it was. So it was so amazing to see. But it's not that I want to <laughs> go through that each time I have an allergy, but it was just such a nice thing to, to test it on. The same with my migraine, I've done that so many times, I still take medication. Why not? You know, it'd be practical. We can explore with physical pain, totally, but we can also be very practical about it. So I have had moments where I just, you know, I just wanted to see if, if it's true that every datum just has its natural course of appearing, staying for a while and vanish without a trace. That's what I saw with my allergy, with my migraine. It was just coming, going, coming, going. I couldn't control it but I could relax with it in short moments. So that's where it's at. Again and again and again. And if you wonder about, that's the first mainstay in this training, is to, to take these short moments. That is the, the best question you can ask. You can come here and ask and clarify how that is going for you. We're done with trying to, to understand the world by intellect. I'm a biologist, I studied so many years at university and I thought I knew evolution and I knew everything about how it is to be a human being. <laughs> I didn't forget all that I learned and it's included, but I also see that, I, that the relearning comes through my own experience of testing short moments with myself because then I know who everyone is. So that's what we do with this one single instruction, we call it the first mainstay. So in this training, we call this education the Four Mainstays, and that's where the training lies. That's, that's your gate into re the real reality. In the West, we have so many ideas of being independent, we don't need anyone, we don't need an hour. What's that? It's an idea. Well, that's an idea. Just face it in yourself and see the training that you have given to yourself for so many years. With, Believing in the independent nature of your thoughts, emotions and other data and all the suffering it caused you. Maybe no suffering, but for me for sure, so much suffering. Jealousy, pain, comparison, love, self-esteem, not worth anything or worth the best, arrogance, pride, anger, I mean all of that. It's just a natural product of believing in the independent nature of data. So then in this training we all have a personal trainer we have so amazingly unending source of media, text, audio, video, whatever. You can design your program for education anywhere, at any time. <laughs> it's amazing. And then we have the community where we support each other to only live a, lay, a life where we see that we are more than over random thoughts, emotions and other data. We live a life where we see we are so much more than the physical pain. We are just so much more than all the ideas we have about what we need to do all the time. We learn to see that we are more than all the ideas you have created around your identity. All these ideas you needed to defend, protect, if everything is included, everything is included. So you can now start to relearn all the ideas back to the truth of who you are. Where you are already pure, your mind is already pure, you're already perfect, exactly as you are, as your expression of open intelligence.